Terrifying video released exclusively to Local 10 from a frightened South Florida father whose son was kidnapped by Hamas. The 22-year-old and his girlfriend were taken over the weekend, and that worried father just received even more devastating news. He spoke to Local 10's Rosh Lowe, who joins us live from Surfside. Rosh. So many connections here in Miami to what is going on in Israel, and you're going to see this video, and it is heartbreaking. This is a 22-year-old. You can see the fear on his face when he is surrounded by terrorists. And now we hear from his father. We learn that he has a medical condition, and we also find out he has connections to South Florida. <laughs> The video is just terrifying. 22-year-old Omar Wenker surrounded by Hamas terrorists who are cheering. I know that you are alive. I feel it. I feel you every single minute. I need you back home. This is his father in Israel, Shai. We're doing the story here in Miami, and I just wanted to let people know that he does have a relative in the Miami area. He has a relative in Miami. He has also a relative in Brooklyn. Shai desperately trying to get his son home. Omer suffers from colitis and he urgently needs his medication. Dad says Hamas denied the Red Cross appeal to hand over his medications. I'm very... Sorry, it's difficult for me. It's okay, I understand. I'm very worried about my son's health. It's uh, going down very immediate. Omar was abducted from the music festival in the south of Israel. He was there with his childhood friend, Kim. This is where Hamas inflicted massive damage, taking hundreds of lives and kidnapping many. Kim's body was found. The family got uh, the horrible uh, announced it yesterday. And, uh, I think 8 p.m. Shai still hoping Omer is alive. I can't describe you what I'm going through, but I'm very strong. But the mission will be accomplished. Tonight, there are so many parents, both in Israel and in America, who are living through this hell like Shai is. Think about this for a moment in conclusion. These were two 22-year-olds. They wanted to go to a music festival. Kim's funeral was today. And once again, Shai is just praying that Omer is alive. We're live tonight in Surfside. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News. It really is so devastating, Rosh, thank you.